best mince pie 2017 we tested the finest mince pies for your Christmas table. But the humble mincer has a history more glorious and more life-enhancing than any lump of overblown fruitcake. Indeed, at one point in its history the mince pie was considered the number one confectionery choice of God himself. And Brexiteers will be cheered to know the mince pie is a cake so quintessentially British it could probably be renamed the Brexit pie. By British we of course mean a great idea shamelessly nicked from foreign climes centuries ago and seamlessly woven into our culture and our hearts. Like almost everything else in history the mince pie can be traced back to the Crusades. Spices were brought back from the Middle East and mixed with actual meat, and the delicious result was likened to the gifts of the Magi to baby Jesus by the mad Catholics. Not surprisingly, a bit later on in British history Cromwell and his Puritans took a dim view of what were perceived to be Papist pies and they were effectively banned. But you can't keep a good pie down and by the time Victoria was on the throne it was back with a vengeance, on its way to becoming the Christmas classic it is today. The poet Edward Young, he of the procrastination is the thief of time quote, had this to say about mince pies, the future seems to me no unified dream but a mince pie long in the baking, never quite done. And while we're not quite sure what he meant by that and assume he'd overdone the sherry trifle, it does seem that a pie with its own quote is a pie to be reckoned with. So this, dear reader, after weeks of munching our way through no less than 22 different mince pies, is our considered opinion and our very, very non-scientific top 10. 10. Aldi Slogin Mince Tarts minus 48% Tasting Notes not much gin taste but a nice pie. 9. Sainsbury Deep Filled Mince Pies minus 51% Tasting Notes, a near-perfect mince pie, not too boozy, with a satisfying mince. A good workaday mince pie, I could probably eat quite a few of them. 8. Heston Lemon and Spice Mince Pies minus 52% Tasting Notes, cheeky twist, lemony, very bloom and tall. 7. Waitrose All Butter Puff minus 58% tasting notes, this by divided opinion. One tester said, insipid mints, claggy, but another said I really enjoyed it, a cracker, maybe it's an acquired taste. 6. As the 6 mints pies minus 63% tasting notes, crumbly top, cinnamon taste to the filling, not bad. Pastry's a bit cloying maybe, but all in all, delicious. Five. Tesco Finest minus 66% tasting notes, good crisp pastry, excellent fruit content, great taste. Very sweet, with an odd taste of chewed pencil. Though not bad for all that. 4. As de extra special all butter crumble mince pies minus 68% tasting notes, I like it, it's nice. It's one of those it's not really a mince pie moments as it's more of a crumble. But good. It's really a crumble. But I like it. Good fruit, very plummy. 3. M and S Mince Pies, the collection minus 70% tasting notes, best mint so far, ironic as it's not mints, it says 17% dried vine fruits. Fantastic mints but poor pastry good filling to pastry ratio. Initially a bit dry but develops on the palate. 2. Waitrose All Butter Chocolate and Ginger Mince Pies minus 73% Tasting Notes, was worried this was a trendy twist too far but it's good, really good. 1. Aldi Cognac Steeped Mince Pie minus 83% Tasting Notes, got a bit of a kick to it, brilliant the closest to a homemade mince pie, juicy filling, crumbly pastry and good sprinkling of icing sugar. Stability of the pie is questionable but on the whole remarkably good. I can't stop myself eating it. As the extra special all butter puff pasty mince pies minus 26% tasting notes, a cross between a cronut and a sausage roll. Might look pretty, like a Christmas tree, but seriously, all pastry.